Hey all of you welcome back once again in the last video we talk about that how you can use the in inbuilt mongoose validator model and how you can create your custom validator in this video we're going to talk about the one npm package which you can utilize for validating data so if you are expecting validate credit card number or you want to check any data so you can do that as well with the help of npm package as well so that's what we're going to cover here so this is where we left in the last video make sure to open up your terminal and let's play this terminal and now we have to install that npm package so let's do it so npm i it's called validator validator hit enter and this will install the package okay so before i start using this let's come back to the npm package and let me explain that what you will get in this validator package okay so this is the validator we are using to validating the data you can able to find that how many weekly downloads are there and how you can use it so let me scroll down and let me talk about the method it has okay so here you will have all these methods which you can utilize it to validate the data so if you want to just validate that option in object you can do it if you want to check the equal comparison you can do is you can check this is afraid if you want to check that only name content alphabet you can do that and here you will have this options if you want to check the valid credit card number so that's all you have here okay the list is very bad you can see credit card number you have if you want to check the currency you have you can take the date url is date and you can see the decimals divisible esn so email validation you have so we're going to use this as well we have this float so tons of things we have and must tell you to come and explore this okay because when we come to the authentication section we're going to definitely use this a lot to validate the information validate the credit card number email id so all this thing okay so make sure you come and read about it and you can check how you can utilize it i'm going to give you a basic example in this video that how you can use it in your schema model okay so let's come back to the code once again so here we are back in the code and now let me clear the terminal and let's come here and now we have to simply import that schema model so we'll say validator validator and we can't say required validator okay not validate validator so here we have the package and now we can utilize it so i want that the name should contain only character not any name a sorry not any number only character so i just want to add here so i can say let's call the package name so i'll say validate and here i will take this bracket array and here i have to call the function name so whatever function you want to call you can just pick that function from there and you can call it so we have the instant of that all package in this validator and i want to call this function is alpha so what this function does it will check for the characters okay if a name contain id sorry name contain numbers so it will throw an error okay so for error we have to display the error message so we can say nft name must only contain characters okay so that's the simple validator which check for name and if there is a number it's through an error okay so this is how you can utilize it and now let's come here and let's try to make a request so here i what i want to do i want to just simply add this let's say dollar and i can add 5464 okay so this is what i wanted and now if i make a request i'll get an error you can see name must only contain a character okay but there is one pro one more problem with this okay if i change this number and if i type hussein so i have a space in this okay so i have dollar space hussein i'll still get an error okay okay still i get an error because this package doesn't allow us to add space so i will simply remove this space and now if i hit the request i'll get this one okay so i just wanted to show you that you can use validator in your schema model that's why i have added this but right now i'm not going to use it because i want the user to write the write of write the name of the nft of your of their choice okay if they want to add a number if they want to add a space they can do that okay so i just comment this out and we're going to use this package a lot in the email section okay so I just wanted to show you that you can add that's why i just included this one okay so that's looking fine this is all the validators we have here we're going to use this letter not now so with this finally we are done with this very first section in our api where we have learned that how we can build the schema model routers building complex functionality to get the data from the database and from the local database as well so this is the end of the first section in the next section we start working on the global error handling okay so as i told you at the beginning that we have a dedicated section for handling error okay so we're going to follow more robust technology more robust strategy to handle all the errors which is coming in our api from the clients and from the packages okay 
whether it could be a server error whether it could be a user error so that's what we're going to handle in the next section okay so let's move to that